So I'm back down here at Fingal Glen, guys. Come and check it out. They're doing some brilliant things down here. We're here with the club pro, James Hammond, and I've asked him how to do a stinger. How do you do a stinger, James? I'm going to show you. So guys, I've been put under pressure. I've got to try and hit a stinger for you. Um, when I do this, the fundamentals of my golf swing is stayed very much the same as what they would if I was just hitting a normal shot. My setup is slightly different, and then basically the feeling that I get is I cut short my golf swing, both on the way back and on the way through. So I've got a three iron here. Obviously the easiest club to hit low. Um, if I was to set up normally, I would set up like so. Um, to hit this stinger, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ball further back in my stance. I'm actually gonna get a little bit closer to the ball as well. Um, a, a key thing to remember is if you can keep the middle of your chest, the sternum, in front of the ball, that's gonna keep your weight over the top of it and punch that shot. Grip down on the club ever so slightly, put my weight on my left side, and like I said, I'm gonna feel like I'm hitting a three-quarter backswing, and then I'm gonna really stop on the way through. Let's see how we get on. And as you can see from that flight, we've got that low, chasey three iron, which keeps you in play when the, the hole is slightly narrower than what you would if you were hitting driver, or if you had a massive headwind and you just needed to punch something down the fairway, second into a par five, whatever it is, it's a very handy and useful shot for you guys at home to get on the driving range or come down to the simulator here and get practicing. So guys, just to reiterate that from a slightly different angle, as you'll see, I've got the ball further back in my stance, my weight on my left side, I'm going to keep the sternum over the front of the ball, and I'm going to hit a three-quarter follow, a three-quarter backswing followed by a three-quarter follow-through, which is going to really help me keep that ball flying low. What about if you want some height on it, James? Uh, so, good question. To add height, what I'm going to do is pretty much the same as the draw and fade video, which you should have seen by now, is I'm going to flip it and do the polar opposite. So, whereas to hit the low one, I have the ball back in my stance. To hit the high one, I'm going to put the ball further forward in my stance. I want my sternum now to be behind the ball. As I set up, I'm going to widen my stance a little bit. I'm going to make sure my weight is slightly on my right side. So whereas I was sort of 70-30 on my left side to hit the low one, I'm now going to be about 60-40 on my right side. This in turn is obviously going to help me hit up on the ball, which is what's going to get us the height um, that we require to get over a tree, to get over what it is. If it's downwind and you want to add a little bit of loft to the club, this will help. So as you can see, my weight is now on my right side. I'm going to feel like I'm still hitting a full swing, so I'm not going to shorten my swing this time. If anything, I'm going to slightly lengthen it, and I'm going to really feel like I'm hitting up on it. Colin Montgomery style finish, high hands, that's going to get the ball in the air a little bit higher. Let's give it a go. So as you can see guys with a three iron, that's pretty high and it stops quite quickly, we've only got five yards of roll on that one with a three iron which is, is pretty good, it's pretty soft if you need to stop it quickly, that's definitely the way to go. Yeah, he's well chuffed with that, the smile on his face though. <laughs> First take as well. <laughs> right guys, so that was James Hammond with how to hit a stinger, also how to hit a high shot so it comes down with snow on it. I'll tell you what, mate, you can whack a ball, can't you? It's going all right, mate, yeah, it's been going all right. It's incredible. Well, hopefully he's going to um, show me where I'm going wrong. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't, check James out. It's his socials. Check out Fingal Glen as usual. Um, if there's anything you want James to do, send us a message and we'll see if we can get it done for you. Also, comments, guys, really help the channel. Any comments, even if it's just Finn, you're rubbish. Anything like that helps. Likes. Check out the other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, and that.